Hello my friends! Today in this small video I will show you how to use beautiful Italian viscose and create such incredibly beautiful lace with transition of colors. For this uh, we will use four gorgeous colors. We have here a very light pastel orange, this one. Also we have orange thread, looks like this. Next will be coral orange. And the last will be the most intensive and really incredibly beautiful color. It's a very dark red color. And from these all colors, I will make step-by-step -step beautiful lace and show you how to change colors. So let's start. So first I will take small steel hook in size 1.75 mm and I will use all the time three threads for my work. And we need to start from first color. This will be the most light color, this one. I will join three threads together and make first part of lace. Uh, now you can see beginning. I join it three threads together and my work will look like this. You can see uh, with such size of crochet hook I can work very easily with this thread. It's very soft, tender, silky, but it's really convenient to work even when you join three threads or four. It's really everything okay. And you can work even very fast if you need and if you can. So I am starting my beautiful lace and very soon I will show you first part made in first color. Okay, so now I have first row of my beautiful lace. As you can see how beautiful, silky, soft and tender is this thread. And uh, now I will join new color, yes. Like, I, yeah, like you know, I am working with three threads, the most light color. And now I will take the second color, yes. I already open this uh, skein, yes. And prepare it new, new thread. I have it here. It's more orange. So, and uh, you need to cut one of these orange threads, yes. Just like this. Leaf tail around 20 centimeters. You can see I cut the yarn. And uh, now uh, I will place this new thread. I will take 20 centimeters of this new color and place it at the right side. So I will join it to the working loop like this. Just by my fingers I will hold the thread. But at the right side I will leave around 20-25 centimeters. So now I join it here at this point where I have my hook and my working loop four threads. Now I need to make like this yarn over, take all these four threads and now I will draw this all yarns through working loop. So in this moment I have four threads on my hook. They are very thin so that it's this is not a problem at all to work. I will make one more loop like this. And now I will draw this all threads to the right side till I see this, yes, orange, the first color a tail at the right side. Now I see it, you can see it also here. So now it will stay at the right side. Next I will again move all these threads to the left side just to have this nice working loop, yes, smaller. That's all. Now I have only three loops, uh, three threads on my hook. And in this way, simple way, we join it new thread, new color, without knots, without anything. So you can see, now we, we will leave this tail here and orange tail will, will stay here, yes, where we started. And uh, just I can work very easily, you can see, very easily with three threads, but I have new color. These tails I will hide after when I will finish my beautiful lace and everything will be just perfect. So I will continue to make new row with Yes, new additional color. And now we have beautiful next row with such yes, nice design. And uh, I can I am ready to join new thread. So we will take second thread, yes, second uh, skein, like we did before. We have three threads, one light orange I cut, just leaf tail around 25 centimeters. And I have next thread in this orange more intensive color and like I told you we need to place this new thread like this leaf tail at the right side around 25 centimeters and take all these four threads together like near to this working loop after just take all threads four threads make yarn over and draw threads through working loop now we have four threads I will make one more loop and now I can draw this all thread to the right side till I see this orange tail, yes, at the right side. And I will leave this orange tail 
here okay I see it so we can leave this tail and three threads I will make again smaller just to work yes I will leave them for working loop okay in this case I joined a new more intensive color yes I have this thread that I cut now this tail at the right side and at the left side I have this new orange tail it will stay here also 20 around 25 centimeters and I leave three working threads on my hook so now I have two more dark threads and only one this is the most light yes so everything is just perfect without knots I join it a new thread and I can make row number three so my friends I finish it next row it looks really gorgeous we can see yes uh, how I change it colors and now I can cut the last yes the most light thread and I will join third thread in the same color so after uh, now we will work with three the same colors uh, next row and uh, like always I will cut one thread the most light leaf tail around 25 centimeters that's all and now join last skin in this color like I told you we should take this thread and leave this new thread at the right side 25 centimeters around all threads join together four threads in this moment and now take all the threads take on your hook make yarn over and draw four threads through working loop like this now one more chain loop and after we can draw all threads to the right side till we see this tail yes light tail now I can move back this three threads and in this way we have the last light color here at the right side new tail of orange thread will stay here at the bottom and we can work with three working threads now we have uh, the same colors just for one row and very easily I can continue to work without knots without any problems so now I will make next row with this beautiful thread okay I finish it next row it looks really gorgeous and now we can take third color like you know we are working with three threads in, in the same color I will cut one of these threads uh, and like I did before I will leave tail long tail here and I will take a new color this one new bobbin and also make the same leaf tail at the right side it can be also long just for yes for convenient work and now I will take four threads to my hook make yarn over and draw all these threads it's working loop like this one more loop with four threads and now draw all the threads to the right side till you see this tail and now we can move back and just make smaller this working loop but this tail will stay at the right side and we join it thread now we have three threads one will be yes another color and two previews and very easily I will continue to make next row okay I finish it one more row and you can see how it looks now really interesting and also I want to say you can change colors slower just uh, one combination of three threads yes like this for example you can use for few rows only after this cut one of threads and join new color just for this sample just for this presentation I am changing colors uh, so quickly but you don't need to change colors for each row and now I want to take second bobbin in this color and uh, like always I will repeat the same uh, without knots we will join new thread so I need to take this one of these orange threads and cut the thread leaf tail and new thread we will join like we did before just I will place it here tail at the right side join four threads together after we just need to make yarn over take all these four threads and draw through the working loop one time and after second time now I will draw all four threads to the right side till I see yes now I see this tail so I will leave tail at the right side and I will move back all these working threads three threads 
And now I prepared everything for my work. I can start new row with new combination of three threads. Let's work. Uh, so I uh, made few rows by using a third color with coral thread and also I took one of these uh, dark red balls and already made one row. You can see the result in this moment. Uh, looks uh, really magical and now the last two rows step by step I will use these two skeins so one of the skeins I will use right now and make new row and after this I will just need to make one row and finish to make this sample for you to show you this all transition of colors so now I I will take this dark red skein and join new thread like always a leaf tail at the right side and join four threads together next take these four threads and draw through working loop two times and just after you need to draw this thread this all threads to the right side till you see the tail and now everything is ready just for the next row i will make a few loops more and i am working with two dark red threads and only one coral. Now I will make one new row and after we will join the last skein and make the last row for this beautiful sample of lace. Uh, so I finished to make new row by using two dark red threads and one coral and just uh, now I can join the last uh, yes, dark red thread. I will take this skein and make one last row just for this sample. I cut this uh, coral thread, leaf tail around 20 cm, 25 and now I will take this new thread, join together four threads, at the right side I will leaf tail 25 cm and make two loops by using these four threads. After I need to draw all threads to the right side till I see this tail, I have it, so now I can move back and make this working loop smaller. In this case I joined the last dark red thread and I can continue to work, just make few loops more by using three dark threads like you can see here. And now I will make last row and show you the result. Yes, it will be interesting to see. Uh, so, my friend, I finished to make this sample for you, just to show you how you can use this beautiful Italian viscose in few colors and make really amazing transition of colors. I changed colors uh, very fast, you can make bigger parts by using, yes, few threads and you will have very delicate transition of colors. This was just a sample of technique, how to join the threads without knots, without any problems and you can see how easy everything is and it's really big fun to make such laces you can use different patterns you can make different size of these parts yes different number of rows and you will get a really fantastic results i am sure you will enjoy to work uh, with such high quality and beautiful threads we have different colors for example this uh, set it has four colors but also you can use another colors blue turquoise green yellow also pink colors and you will get also amazing results thank you so much for watching and see you soon at the new videos